All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukakudash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS whom rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful leg out there pushing this word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about you, how shot. And what I want to get into this morning, you know, is how pretty much this truth, you know, has took us from a slave mentality to a ruling class mentality, all right? Because as we, you know, <laughs> been uh, uh, cultivated in Babylon, all right, to pretty much be anti-Messiah, and not only anti-Messiah, but have a slave mind frame, you know? There's the, the, there's the masses of our people, even those that have money, that have status in this society, you know, that have um, different positions and different things, all right? One thing that, that plagues our people, you know, it, which is a mental illness, is that slave mindset, all right? But when you read the scriptures, when you really get into the promises, when you really get into what Yahweh Shai you know, was preaching, you know, to Israel, beginning with the men, was to have a ruling class mentality, man. You see? Because before we become rulers, we're developing a ruling class mentality, man. All right? We're being conformed from that, you know, from we're being transformed from that slave mentality and conformed to that ruling class mentality, man. And it's in righteousness, you know? Not just being a ruler just for the perks, but no, for a purpose. To see righteousness forward and in the earth. You know, when you read on um, Jeremiah 2 and 14, it says, Is Israel a servant? Is is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? You see? Why is he spoiled? And speaking of a mind frame, Jake, our people have been, been, been spoiled of a mind frame. All right? Because in the same chapter, when you read down verse um, 21, it said, Yet I had, the Jeremiah 2 and 21 said, Yet I had planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? So Mosai planted us to be royal and high born and, and being uh, of nobility man that's how Israel is created alright why you think Israel is so big on, on trending what people call trending you know Jake can do a, a, a dance on TikTok and then it go viral throughout the globe that's cause in our spirit we're meant to influence these heathens man but it's supposed to be in righteousness. Esau just manipulated it, and now our people influence, are used to influence what? In wickedness, man. You see? But we're getting back to that ruling class mentality, but first, well, we had to repent to a righteous standard. All right? Because you look at the day, the mind frame of the masses of our people they glorify slave mentality. All right? Niggas, niggas glorify claiming a, a block that they don't own. So pretty much they're just, they're just getting their, <laughs> all right? <laughs> they're just getting their plantation tatted on them, man. <laughs> you see? Our people went from crying you know, for chairs to come deliver them to now, they get the plantation tattooed on them, man. All right? The woman went from getting, all right, raped by slave owners and, 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 and you know, by the oppressor to now, they just thought it out. <clears throat> A nation of harlots, you know? They glorify it, they glorify that now. A bad bitch. You know? Niggas glorify in their jobs. 
you know? Slave minded. Alright? When you go to our forefathers, they always had a ruling class mentality, man. That's why it was so easy for the Egypt, I mean for uh yeah, the Pharaoh of Egypt to make Joseph second in command. Daniel, to be president over Babylon. Alright? Nehemiah the cupbearer. You know? Because our forefathers, they was groomed, all right, for rulership, man. Why? Because we was raised by a standard. You see? Now, let's get this in um, Colossians because, you know, we always get it. But what was your house shot really pushing when you read the gospel, man? He was always talking about rulership. He was always talking about eating at my table. You see? Sitting on 12 thrones. Inheriting lands. You know? <laughs> Inheriting people. You see? Now this is Colossians 3 and 1. It says, If ye then be risen with your house shot, seek those things which are above, where your house shot sit up on the right hand of the Most High. Set your affections on things above, not on things of the earth, man. And that's going back to what, man? Rulership, man. That above way of thinking. All right? I say, Jacob glorify, you know, getting money, you know, the cell phone pics with me, the money cell phones, and, you know, a nigga like Black Youngster got Bunny all in the room dancing, but he has no power. All right? He has no power. He doesn't control any trade routes. He doesn't control any policies that govern the earth. Niggas have zero power. All right? He sub they're, they're still subjugated to a wicked rulership, but they glorify in the little perks that they got in the wicked rulership. That's a slave mentality, man. Brag about killing other slaves. <laughs> you see even women that <clears throat> have their mind frame of trying to uh, 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 govern being be in power over a household and also trying to confine the Israelite man to one woman alright that's a slave mentality that's a scarcity mentality man they're just thinking about one lifetime when you go to our, uh, our, uh, our, even our four mothers, when you go to Sarah, all right, <laughs> Rachel, Leah, what was their mindset? They didn't care about no damn other women because they knew that was part of rulership. All right? The more offspring especially the more sons that your husband will have that strengthen the nation. They had, our foremothers had a ruling class mentality. Sarah offered up Hagar to what? For Abraham household. You see, she knew he was a man of great substance. She had a mind frame of what? Of an empire, of a dynasty. All right? What do you have today? Checking phones. Uh, you know, he get he get he get off work 10 minutes <laughs> later. All right, he got to explain. You see? Cuz as men, men supposed to be thinkers, man. But in this society, the Esau turned a woman to such a damn, uh, a damn pest. All right, can't even think, man. Why? Because it's a slave mentality. Jake and that simp spirit, man, putting women on the pedestal. That's a slave mentality, man. And we all guilty of particular things, man. You know, because we was cultivated in a slave culture, man. You know, where it was glorified and made to look cute. But now, as we're coming back to rulership, 
a ruling class mentality, man. You know, by being groomed by these scriptures and Ultron being groomed by Yahweh Shot. You know, now we we have a completely look out on different things, man. All right, women have a purpose, man. All right, and as men, we have purpose, man. You know. <laughs> now I end it here, man. Because Generation Joshua, hey, they had a ruling class mentality, man. All right? Beginning with Caleb and Joshua, they had a ruling class mentality, man. You know? They had their mind made that they were supposed to be in power, man. <laughs> you see? They were supposed to rule over these heathens, man. All right? There wasn't no doubt in it, man. You know? This is Psalms 122 and 5. It says, For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David, man. All right? The house of David is supposed to be in rulership, man, in righteousness, to enforce righteousness in the earth, man. All right? And eventually, <clears throat> the earth and everyone in it going to benefit from a righteous rulership, man. You know? So we should have a righteous ruling class mentality, man. All right, even you sisters, man, like I say, like, you, you should understand, you should have a mind frame of rulership, not slave mentality, man. You know, trying to limit your man to this and that, limit a man, you know, what he's able to do. No, that's a slave mentality, man. All right? We're being groomed to be rulers, man, and you, you women, you sincere women are being groomed, groomed to be wise of those rulers, you know? So Lord will it was edifying to the next time I say shall I want.